Bye. Whoa. Howdy, welcome back. Today's video, we're jumping into section 33. Um, so far, I've actually at least gotten the seat floor, or whatever these are called, the rear seat bottom panels in. Uh, first little gotcha, uh, honestly not a huge one, uh, but it could have been solved probably earlier on um, when doing these, uh, when you can't see them, but, but when, when adding the ribs to the bottom skin. Uh, the rib here, these outermost ribs that are up against the side skins, holes do not line up fully, so you do end up having to flute these. I was worried I wasn't gonna be able to get in there with the regular fluting tools. I was though. Um, that one over there, which I'll go over to now. So turn that swamp off so you have to hear the hair going the whole time. Um, anywho, you'll see this one is nice and tight. Um, it follows the edge here real nicely. All of the holes line up real nicely. Um, so I was able to sneak the fluting pliers in there and just kind of nipped the edge of it uh, as far as I can get the pliers in and it worked out well. So anyway, next step now involves match drilling these nut plates. So uh, I got to match drill the nut plates uh, where there are no holes there. And uh, yeah, we'll continue from there. So we'll get to it. did make an extra one on accident. Um, I'll have one extra 16 inch length. I'm not sure if it would have been a big deal or not. I'll throw the plan somewhere up on the screen here. Uh, but depending on where the cut is that you get from Vans, the eyelet will start on one side or it's gonna end off on the other side. So you'll see the, the eyelet pattern is different between the two. So left and right have staggered eyelet patterns. Again, I'm not sure if it would have been critical. All I know now is I did have to waste a 16 inch length of this hinge material, so I may end up having to order extra. I'm not sure where else this is used, possibly the baggage door, in which case it will fit. My remaining length will, will fit the baggage door. Uh, but anyway, I'll get there when I get there. But for now, for those of you out there who are getting to this step, take a look at the eyelet orientation. Uh, was it measured, measured twice, cut once, or something like that? I cut twice and I cried once. So there we are. I'm up to the point where um, they have you disassemble each of these panels here and start dimpling. Uh, so I'm putting that on pause real quick to make some access panels. Uh, if you recall, a couple videos back, I did add um, doublers for antennas that are gonna be sitting underneath the rear seat. So I am making access panels. Uh, these are leftover pieces from the tunnel from when I added the airward access panel uh, way up there. 
Anyways, leftover material, nice and thick. I don't know, probably 040 or similar. Uh, but anyways, nice thick material. So my plan right now uh, is you'll see here I made this panel, center it on a grouping of these holes here. And then I think what I'll do is I'll grab nut plates in the corner. So I'll do like nut plate there, nut plate there, nut plate in the middle. And then add a nut plate in the middle nut plate in the middle, and then same on the other side. I think that should be enough. I'm not sure. Do not take anything I'm doing as a how-to guide. That's the plan right now, is to somehow make access panels. So I'm happy with this shape, so I drew it on this other piece that was left over from that previous uh, tunnel material. So I'll get that cut out, and we'll jump forward in the future, and I'll let you know how I was able to solve the problem of adding an access panel here. All right, Operation Com Antenna Access Panels is complete. Um, Left one there I have just secured temporarily so you can get an idea of what it'll look like. Uh, obviously you won't be able to see it when we have the rear seat in, uh, but nice and flat. Uh, another method I saw is doing the traditional style of access panel where you drop it in and have a, a backing plate inside of here um, as a little support lip and that keeps it totally flush. The reason why I did not do that is number one, uh, plans call for LP4-3 rivets anyways on here, uh, which are the, the, the protruding um, domed top rivets, pop rivets. So uh, obviously Vans is not concerned about things being totally flush here. I think because you end up having seats on top, you're not gonna know. Um, so with that in mind, I didn't worry about it being totally flush. And the other issue I had with that is the one that I saw where he made that little access panel to, uh, or made that little inset flange. Uh, it decreased the amount of space to get a hand in there. I'm happy. A lot of room for access. Summed up the way I did it is I chose to leave these two on each side leave those two not included on the access panel. I didn't want a whole bunch of screws on it. So those I ended up just leaving the original number 30 hole and dimpled it for a helicopter outside. My plan is to use CS4-4 pop rivets there. That'll sit nice and flat underneath the access panel. That'll connect this to the ribs underneath there. Uh, so that's where those, that, that's the plan with those holes. So other than that, these, let's see here. Uh, the three net plates on each side here are not uh, are not tied to this top seat panel in any way. So those are just on the rib itself underneath. The reason why I did that is number one, you of course you cannot get underneath here because this is the, the edge of a rib, so you can't get in there with a uh, with a squeezer or anything to rivet after. Um, but also I wanted this the seat pan to be removable. I'm not going to be riveting this down for a while. Um, while we figure out conduit. Um, anyhow, I wanted to leave my options open. Back here, I uh, don't know if this was honestly necessary or not, but I did add this piece of angled material um, as a little bit of a support, just because that's right where, right where butts are gonna go. Um, so, just to stiffen that up, I did not do one up front, just because it's so close to the front flange of this big old bulkhead back here. Um, so, anyhow, that's that. Sits nice, I'm happy with it. And again, that's what it looks like when it's all buttoned up screwed in there temporarily, uh, but again, we're, I'm, I'm popping these off. Not gonna be installing these, uh, not gonna be installing these for a while until we figure out what's going underneath them. So, anywho, that's that. There was no way I was gonna end up uh, putting solid rivets there. You'll see through there, I don't know how you'd get maybe a, a really, really thin bucking bar possibly would work, but with this being such a flimsy, small, lightweight, I think this is 032, uh, super thin, 
uh, my my style, my opinion, I would have just damaged this. So I ended up using a couple of these uh, CCR 264 SS-3-2 rivets, not for structural reasons, uh, but for installing nut plates. So good application there. Um, next to it, I was able to use solid rivets. I just used my little standard little oops rivets that I've been using for all my nut plates. Uh, just that way I can just lightly countersink it. And uh, anyways, I like the look of it. It's nice and clean. There's no dimples needed or anything like that. So anyway, happy with this, so we'll continue. Congratulations, you made it to the end of this video. At the end here, you see me wrapping up riveting on the baggage floor stiffeners. Uh, from here, I was not able to put them into the plane and get things riveted down, just given that we do not have all of our final decisions made. Uh, so we do need to still figure out conduit runs, what we're, what's going underneath the floor. Uh, we have a lot to figure out with electrical system, avionics. Um, really, all those really big, really fun decisions are coming up very, very quickly here, which I'm really excited to share with you all once we have set in stone. Um, so next video will involve doing the seat backs as well as the rudder pedal, brake pedal system, uh, which we did do a pretty neat aftermarket upgrade to those. So anyways, have some really good content that I'm really excited to get out to you. And uh, yeah, those exciting annou announcements that are going to be coming up very, very quickly. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in those next videos. Adios.